so this is going to be another look and this one is the 1980s and I'm very excited about this one I'm just going to show you a quick view of this look so I basically just pulled out the same look that she had on and um, I believe the 1980s are basically where colors were kind of invented like more colored eyeshadows were on bold uh, colored lips like reds and pinks and uh, basically a lot of uh, blues and greens and yellows were added and some gold as well. But uh, yeah, so this is the look that I've done today. If you guys want to know how I did this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I started off with um, is that I applied F Mineral Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid. And you guys could also see a white, which I used my NYX Jumbo Porcelain Milk and mine is already departed. And I'm just going to basically place that on the eyelid. I'm just going to take tape. Any kind of well, tape will work. There is no specific one. And I want to make sure that I want to put it straight. I don't want to put it up or down. I really want it to be straight. So I'm just going to do my best and make it the same thing with the other eye. So that's about it. And I'm just going to drag the white right on top of the tape. So the first colors I'm going to be using is the Creative Me number no. 1 palette. And I'm going to be taking the light yellow and then putting the dark yellow on top as well. And this is CM01 and this is CM02. And I'm going to take it with a small eyeshadow brush. And this is how it looks like. And I'm just going to pick up that light yellow first and place that in the inner corners of the eyelid. And you want to put it kind of three-fourths way in. Now I'm going to take the darker yellow and put that right on top of it. Taking a big fluffy inkle brush and I'm just going to blend that. Next I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow brush here and this is the elf one. I think this one's called the C brush. And I'm going to be taking the light turquoise color which is CM012. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to basically place that in the middle of the eyelid and also blend it with yellow. take this dark purple, it looks navy but it's a dark purple and this one is number 7 with the same brush but I'm going to take the other side of it taking this dark purple and I'm going to place that at the outer corners of the lower line of the eyelid and I want to make sure that I basically kind of create a line right on top of the tape or kind of like a V, really going down and straight. Just going to take the big fluffy brush again and just blend everything together on the crease. Now you can take off the tape and you can work with that line. That purple again and just going to reapply it just to make it a bit darker. Taking a small brush you just want to start blending it in into the line. Next I'm going to be taking my MAC palette. I'm going to be taking the color Carbon, which is a matte black, with a small eyeshadow brush like this one. I'm just going to pick this up and basically place that at the outer corners of the lower lash line. And you also want to basically bring it through the line that you've created with the tape. And 
then I'm basically just going to connect that line with the lower lash line. Just taking that black and basically trying to make that purple a bit darker and I'm just going to basically play with that black with the purple taking the big fluffy brush again and I want to make sure that I blend this very very lightly now I'm going to be taking the Costa Sense 88 Ultra Shimmer Palette and I'm going to pick up the white, the yellow sorry, in this color and I'm going to take the same little eyeshadow brush again. I'm just going to pick up this yellow and put it right on top of the yellow but basically in the crease like really up there. And then I'm going to be taking uh, three shades of green. I'm going to be taking this one, this one, and the one on top with the same brush, just mixing all three together. And I'm going to place that on the turquoise and also blending it with that yellow. And then I'm going to be taking this dark purple with the same brush and I'm going to place that on the purple. I'm going to be taking my MAC palette again and I'm going to be taking a color called Vanilla right there with the same brush and I'm going to place it as a highlight. Now taking a MAC um, eyeliner pencil eyeliner and this is called Graph Black and I'm going to basically draw line my whole eye with this with the eyeliner place I'm just going to set that with a small little eyeshadow brush and some carbon and I'm just going to go over that liner now I'm going to be taking the same palette, the shimmer palette, I'm going to pick up the blackest shimmer that they have and I'm basically going to place that right on top and blending it with the purple as well taking a lighter purple this one with the same brush just a little bit and I'm going to be placing that at the outer corners of that dark purple right there Go ahead and apply eyelashes. The ones that I'm using are the Ardell Demi Whips, Whift, so this is how they look like. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of the Forever 21 eyeliner. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. So I'll put that and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. The closest color for lipstick that I had, comparing it to the picture, was actually a lip liner from Lancome that I already had before, like a while back. And this is called Berry. So what I did is just I basically lined my lips and filled that up. And then there was also some gloss going on, so I just applied my MAC lip gloss with a, a brush like this. Just eight disposable brushes that I have, and I just put it on top for contour because they, there's basically no blush going on. So for contour, um, I just use Mac Copper Tone, and I just basically just contoured my face with that. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, leave, please leave in the comments down below. I'm also going to be doing two more looks. Um, 
that's basically inspired by the magazine. So this is today's look. This is how it looks like. So yeah, there's still two more or three more looks to go. There's the 1990s, the 2000s. Yeah, two more looks left. So I'm really excited about that and uh, please stay tuned for these two looks. Hopefully that's going to be uploaded um, soon or probably filmed soon. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.